In this video, we are making character able to shoot. Open BB doc file, which we made in part 1. Now open 3D world. And open asset library. Loading assets might take some time. Double click on sphere and close asset library. Now click on your imported sphere asset and change its name. Also pick a color. This will be your bullet's color. Double click on bullet asset to enter node map view. Select start node and enable physics. Click on 3D model node. Reduce its size by changing scale values. Open movement menu and drag move node. Set X value to positive because this bullet shoots to right direction. Z value must be zero. Connect it with start node. Open advanced menu and drag delay node. Delay value determines how long bullet is visible. In this example, bullet disappears after 1.5 seconds. Drag remove node. This actually removes bullet after 1.5 seconds. Connect start node with delay node and delay node with remove node. Now go back to 3D world and duplicate your bullet with D key. Change its name, so you know that it shoots left direction. Double click left bullet asset and change X value in move node to negative. Go back to 3D world and open actor's asset node map. Open controls menu and drag touch node. If you touch screen, it fires. Name it. Shoot right and duplicate it. And name this node to shoot left. Connect start node with shoot right node. So you can start game and shoot right away before moving around. Now connect button right outputs with shoot right node. And button left outputs with shoot left node. Now we need two boolean invert nodes. Without it, character cannot shoot while moving. You need to add one line of code to boolean invert script. And duplicate it. Now comes a bit confusing part. Connect button right press node to first boolean invert node and its output to shoot left node. And button left press node with second boolean invert node and its output to shoot right node. Open action menu and drag spawn node.
give it a name bullet write, and asset name must match the name you gave to write bullet. Duplicate it and change names to left. Connect shoot right node with bullet right node. And shoot left node with bullet left node. As you can see, bullet's spawn position must be adjusted so it does not collide with character. Open bullet write node script editor and where it sets position, add some value next to x. Same with bullet left node, but subtract value. Much better, but character still moves while shooting and bullets are too big. Open bullets node map and under animation node, reduce scale values. Back to actor's node map. Bullet's position needs some fine tuning. Also bullet's height position should be lower. So, subtract y value. Finally save your file. Saving your work more often is a good practice. You never know when computer or program crashes. Thank you for watching. See you in part 3.